Well, hello, hello from a rather unusual dining spot. Today we're at an amusement park. We're visiting Prater and we got really hungry. So we figured let's make the food video first, go on the rides later. And we figured we should probably try some Austrian food. So it's one of those cases where the food arrived before we even started filming our intro. <laughs> so everything we're having is already at the table. We ordered the Wiener Schnitzel, we got some goulash, a Viennese potato salad, and it all looks amazing. Yeah, so let's dig it. And we even have dessert coming too, mm -hmm. and beer. And beer. <laughs> So first up, beer, and it's not even Austrian. What happened there, Sam? Yeah, I kind of bungled that up. Um, <laughs> this is a Polanier. Polanier? Yeah, Polanier. And yeah, it even says on the back, made in Germany. <laughs> so it's from the neighbors. But it should be good. It is a red beer. A white beer. Weiss beer. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. Yeah. I'm always ready to have beer around this time of day after we've been walking for a while. Mm -hmm. I know I say that a lot, but like it's just so true. And the beer is going to go so nicely with schnitzel and goulash as well, so that's also exciting. So you want to introduce us to your dish? Oh, I sure do. This is one of my favorite dishes in Central Ooh, Europe, yeah. beef goulash. And you can see here it comes with uh, pickles as well. Yeah. And it also comes with bread dumplings. Mm -hmm. And I remember we made the mistake in, when we had goulash in the Czech Republic of eating our bread dumplings with our hands. And we're like, you guys are like barbarians. You guys are like barbarians. Apparently right. you are supposed to use your fork and knife. All right, we'll so use fork and I'm going to do that this time. Proper cutlery. Proper cutlery like here, guys. Beings. So yeah, I'm going to get the... Um, get a little bit of the meat, get a bit of the bread. It's going to be a wonderful first bite. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, oh that's so good. The meat is so tender, the sauce, the gravy is so rich and flavorful and just having the, the bread complements it really nicely too. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I I, don't, I think the last time we had goulash must have been in Budapest, so it's yeah. been a little while. It's been a while. And uh, yeah, this is a great start to the meal. All right, I'm gonna try Sam's food as well. So going in here. And already, I mean, like looking at the dish, it's quite different from the goulash we were having in Hungary, which was more soupy. This is more like the pork holt, I think it's pronounced, which is more like stew-like. Yeah, it's the, the thick gravy. Mm. Oh wow. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's good. You're right, the meat is so, so tender. It really is. And I also like that the dumplings, the dumplings are quite light and fluffy. Yeah. So I feel like I can eat more, you know? Yeah. Get more in my system. Yeah, they look thicker than they actually are. <laughs> like when you look at them, they look like, wow, that looks like really dense dumplings, but they're actually not that dense. And I'm going in for a third bite with oh pickles. Gosh. I've never had goulash with pickles, I don't think. Hmm. And that's a surprisingly good combination. Yeah. I really like this dish. You know what's cool is that every everywhere we try goulash, like in Central Europe, it's just it's a little bit different at every restaurant in every country. So mm -hmm. that's, that's fascinating for me. So what just happened? The dangers of eating outside. It's quite windy, so there's like branches, leaves, and like these dry nuts dropping from the trees. There's One of these! Branch. In fact, this is the branch that hit me oh. <laughs> with the knot. <laughs> it like hurt. It like... This just fell on our neighbor. Yeah, and this is this is how high it is up there, guys. <laughs> Look at that. That's where it came from. Anyways. Anyways back to the food. <laughs> back to the so food. So I ordered the Wiener Schnitzel. But the classic, it's supposed to be veal. Yeah. But they don't have that on the menu here. They have one made with pork. Um, so yeah, that's the one we've ordered. It's actually a lot cheaper. When you order the one with veal, it costs double. Yeah. And this was only about 10 euros. This is about 10 euros. The one with veal, you're looking more at around 20 euros. Yeah. We've noticed. Here we are. Yeah. So let's see. Mm. No, it's really nice. It's a really thin cut of meat. Um, I believe the way they make it is that they dip it in like whisked eggs. Or no, first flour, whisked eggs, and then breadcrumbs, and they fry it. So this is really nice. And you know what it reminds me of? <laughs> Milanesa. Milanesa in Argentina. Milanesa. So yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> All right, mister. Yeah, time to try that schnitzel. 
Oh my gosh, that looks good. And in between bites, we are being attacked by falling nuts from the overhead tree. Another one fell. Another one fell. Coming down like projectile bombs. <laughs> I just hope they don't hit us on the head. Yeah, might have a concussion or something. <laughs> Anyways, let's try this. Mm. That's really nice. I think schnitzel is one of my one of my favorite foods to have in Austria for mm -hmm. sure. Favorite food group? Definitely a favorite food group. <laughs> We're actually neglecting the salad underneath the schnitzel we really over are. on this side. Look at that poor little salad. Poor little neglect. Oh, show us again. Poor little salad. Poor little neglected salad. And we figured we would order one more salad to go along with this. Yeah. So you want to show us that one? Yep. So over here we have potato salad. Yeah, this one apparently is a Viennese, Viennese potato salad. Austrian potato salad. Let's try that. Yeah. And it has onions. Some red onion. Red onion. Looks mm. good. Mm. That's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think it has kind of a vinegar type of dressing. It's really tasty. And dessert. And dessert is here. It has arrived. And we're having apple strudel. Yeah. Which is, you know, the famous Viennese dessert. A famous classic. Austrian. The absolute classic. And it was invented in Vienna. So, yes. in, case any, in case you're wondering, it is popular in other parts of Europe, but invented here. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. It's just like, there's so much cinnamon and the pieces of apple are so big, juicy. And then you have the dusting of icing sugar and then it's just... It's oh, a work of art. It's a work of art and then the pastry is just nice and, and, and flaky and delicate. My gosh, that is good. It's like the perfect way to end this meal. This has been a wonderful meal. Like everything we've had has been so good. Amazing. All right, price point. So that meal came to 36 euros and 10 cents. And that was for beer, mineral water, the potato salad, the Wiener schnitzel, goulash, apple strudel for dessert. <laughs> so we ordered quite a bit. Yeah. We are leaving stuffed. Oh and gosh. I mean, we are somewhere touristy. We're in the middle of an amusement park, the oldest amusement park here in Austria. So. Yeah. 